Okay, so let's do an example where we have the isotopic masses for two different isotopes and we are looking for the percent abundance of those. And we're not explicitly given any other information in the table. So what I've written down here is, a, is our equation. And, and remember that we are looking for the weighted average of these two isotopes. Now, let's think about this for a second because this average atomic weight here, we may think that we're missing a piece of information, but we actually do have this. This average atomic weight listed on the periodic table is actually this weighted average of the naturally occurring isotopes. So this is on the periodic table. So if we go to rubidium and we look, we're going to be able to get a number to put in here. Okay, and then that just leaves us with the percent abundance of each of the two isotopes. So it still looks like we have two variables, but we're going to find out that we actually don't. So what I want to do next, so we know we have this, so on the periodic table, I'll just go ahead and write it down. We have 85.468 AMU. Okay, now what are we going to do with these percent abundance? All right, so what we're going to do, we know that we only have two of them, okay? And so they have to add up to 100%. All right, I'm going to put it in decimal form. So to, in other words, the fraction has to end up as 1. Okay, so if we add the two of them together, it's going to add up to 1. I'll put them back into percentages at the end of the problem. But we know that they but we know that the two percent abundances or the fractional abundance of each one of these has to add up to one total, so that means we can make the percent abundance of rubidium x, and we can make 87 rubidium 1 minus x, okay? And so at the end of this problem, here's our total, 1, we're going to subtract off whatever we get for x, and then we'll be able to find out what the um, fractional abundance of 87 rubidium is. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the problem. So 85.468, I'm going to leave off the units for room and then also so we can keep track of our x easy, easier. Okay, and it's going to be x times, let's get our isotopic mass, which is 84.9118. Okay, and then we're going to add on to that 1 minus x, so that's going to be 1 minus x times 86.9092 AMU, okay? All right, so now we have our equation set up. Now we, all we have to do is solve for x. So let's do that. So we're going to have 85.468, and that's equal to 84.9118x. And then let's go ahead and distribute this. So 1 times 86.9092. So 86.9092, that's 1. And then minus x, so this is going to be minus 86.9092 times minus x. So 86.90, oops, 92x. Okay, all right, so now let's continue to solve. So why don't we go ahead and move this guy over? So 86.9092, okay, subtract that off, 86.9092, and we are going to end up with, so let's 85.468 minus 86.9092. So we end up with negative 0.14412, and that's going to be equal to 84.911x minus 86.9092x. Okay, so let's subtract those guys. So we're going to end up with 
x, and then we're going to subtract off 86.9092, so we're going to end up with 2 is equal to negative 1.9982x. Okay? All right, so let's go to the next slide, and we'll finish this up. Okay, so we ended up with negative 1.4412, let me find it here, okay, 1, 2, and that's going to be equal to negative 1.9974x, okay? We can cancel the negatives, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, cancel those guys out. And we're going to end up with 1.4412 is equal to 1.9974x. Okay, so now we want to solve for x. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 1.9974. Okay, so if we do that math, we're going to end up with 1.4112 divided by 1.9974. And we end up with x equals 0 0.7215. Okay, now both of these two abundances have to add up to 1, okay? So this right here, if we multiply this by 100, now we're going to be at our percentage abundance. So this is 72.15%, okay? And remember, we said that X was 85 rubidium. So this is the natural abundance for 85 rubidium for that isotope, okay? Now... For the 87 isotope, so 87 rubidium, then it was 1 minus x. Okay, so let's do 1 minus 0 0.7215, and we are going to get 0 0.2785. Okay, and then again, if we multiply this guy by 100 to get a percentage, then that's going to be 27.85%. Okay, and the reason why we can do this, why we can call one of them x and one of them 1 minus x, is because there are only two of them. We know that it has to add up to 100%. Okay, so we can assign one as x, and then the other one is basically just the leftover, and that's this 1 minus x. Okay, so in the end, fractional abundance of 87 rubidium, 27.85%. And 85 rubidium, that isotope is 72.15% abundant.